Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to make a exploded view, or an exploded view. What we start here is clicking on Presentation. This is a new um, program on Inventor that we've yet to deal with, but this is what this is used for, or some one of the things that it's used for. So we'd click on Presentation. I've already opened it up to save us some time. This is what I pulled up. Now the way I got my T9 truck in here is I went to Presentation and I went to presentation and I clicked on insert model right now it's not one of my options because I already have one up but I clicked on insert model went and found my T9 truck and then brought it in yeah I'm missing the windshield but for the most part we're gonna get or understand how, what I want to get done today what we're gonna do then is learn how to uh, what's called an exploded view we're gonna make this like it look like it's exploded so I would go to presentation I'm gonna go to tweak components and then what I'm going to do is on my computer I'm going to hit the control button and I'm going to click the items that I want to tweak so I'm going to um, I hit control and I clicked on both tires what this is going to allow me to do now is it's going to allow me to move both of these at the same time I've got three choices actually I have six but I have three choices I can move it in these three directions I can move it towards this arrow towards this arrow or towards this arrow I'm going to move it out so I'm going to click there, and for the most part, I'm going to click one. I'm going to tell it that I want it to move out one inch. And if you notice now, it's moved everything out. I'm going to hit enter. Ooh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's going to move it here still. There it did. All right. I'm going to go to presentation. I'm going to hit tweak components. I'm going to hit control. I'm going to hit now the tire and the rim. I'm going to hit this outside direction. I'm going to hit one, and it moves it out again. I hit enter, I go over here to presentation, I go to tweak components, I hit control, I'm clicking the tire, the rim, and the axle now. I hit one, enter, and now what you can see is it's starting to look like all of a sudden this has exploded, the parts are starting to move out. I'll go to the other side, presentation, tweak components, I'm going to hit control, on my computer, click the two tires. Now I like this because the arrow's pointing to the right, but I want this to go to the left. So I'm going to type in negative one. Presentation, tweak components, hit control, hit the rims, hit the arrow, make it negative one, and enter. Presentation, tweak components, I'm going to hit control. Now what's nice about this then is I'm moving all these parts here at one time. Hit this arrow, negative one. Now I've got these parts in here to, to separate. So I'm going to go to presentation, I'm going to hit tweak components, I'm going to click on um, the front, I'm going to click that arrow but I want it to go forward so I'm going to type in negative one enter now in mine I've got some other connector pieces that we didn't worry about with yours but I'm gonna click on this socket I'm also gonna click on the front hit the arrow negative one enter here then I've got another one so I'll go to presentation tweak I'm going to hit control, front, this socket, and then that socket. Even though you don't have those two sockets, you do have a connector piece in there. And it would all work the same. Presentation, tweak. I'm going to move this middle piece here out. Now, you guys that have a windshield, I don't have that windshield here. I'm going to hit. And now I'm going to hit this upwards arrow. I clicked on two here because you got to move this up quite a bit. If you move it up only one, it just barely moves it to the top here. So I moved it up two to give it up, give us some space. As you can see, it's starting to look like it's exploded. Go to presentation, tweak components, click on the back, arrow. And I want it to go towards the arrow, so I'm going to hit one, enter, presentation, tweak components, control, I'm going to click the back and I click that connector piece 
and I'm going to type in one. You can also instead of hit enter, hit this green check mark. I hadn't done that for a while. Tweak components. Control, control. I can't see that other one, but I know there's one in there. Control and click. Hit the arrow. Type in one. And I have done now. The only thing that's not been exploded on here is the windshield. So give it another 30 seconds, and you could have your exploded view done. You'd want to save this. So I go to File. I go to Save As. I would go to where I have my T9 file parts. Notice I've already got an exploded view. I'll go ahead and save this here. Exploded. I'm going to say yes to all. And for the most part, we're done. You've got your exploded view done for today. Oh, check that. We got one last thing we got to do here with this. So we'll see here. We'll give it a chance here to get back to responding to us. All right, so the mark exploded view is done here. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go over here to my home page. If you want to get ahead, I'm going to click on drawing. and we're waiting for the drawing to open. I'm going to go here and I'm going to get rid of the border. I'm going to get rid of that large. I'm going to click, right hand click on sheet, edit sheet, change to A size paper. I'm going to go up here to sheet. Oh shoot, go to drawing resources. Go to title blocks. Click on anti A, so I have a title block there. Then I go to place views. I'm going to go to base. Notice how I just got done doing my um, presentation. It saves that. I can move this around here to however I want this picture to look. How do I want this to be? Um, trying to move it and that looks like a pretty good view there I might go in here and make it bigger and then hit OK and there we go there is my exploded view of the T9 truck, and I've made it put it into a drawing, which helps us get ready for our next phase that we'll work on tomorrow.